Hello, this is Miss Polaris, and today's class is on conversational skills. Now, I'm going to introduce a new unit is a job unit. The title is How to Apply for a Job. Now, during this whole process, we absolutely need to have great conversational skills when you get um, a when you apply for a job or when you get the interview, you're going to be talking and your employer or your future employer is going to see your social skills, your conversational skills, right? And sometimes, and we discuss this in class, that if there is five people applying for a job and they all have the same skills, they all have the same um, experience, um, the last thing to look at is social skills, communication skills as far as conversational skills, right? So it is so important to have great conversational skills because it can help you get what? Yep, you, I know, I hear you. It can help you get a job. I have listed in previous videos um, four or five reasons why it's important to have great conversational skills. And one of them is it will help you get a job. So today's unit is um, how to apply for a job. And we're going to go over several things. Um, and through each unit, we will build up to the actual job interview. But listen carefully because I am going to read a small scenario and go over a few vocabulary words and ask you some questions, okay? And then we will eventually build up to the actual job interview. So here we go. So listen carefully. When a student turns 16 years of age, they have the amazing opportunity to get a job. The student can experience the opportunity to learn responsibility manage their time and money. They have the opportunity to increase their social skills as they interact with others and learn to respect authority on a daily basis. Students who get a job learn to be flexible and problem solve at an earlier age. They learn to interact with difficult situations and how to manage different personalities. Students who get a job can save money, plan for college or a vocational trade, and help their families. When a student gets a job, they learn that there are consequences to their actions. They learn that their work has value and that one of the compensations are a paycheck. The goal of a student who gets a job is to learn the value of money and how to grow into an adult that becomes a great steward of their finances. Okay, so you just heard a nice scenario and the reasons why it's important to get a job. Um, and there are some vocabulary words that I want to review with you before we continue on with the lesson. Okay, um, vocabulary number one, responsibility. What is responsibility? I know you know what it is. I know you know how to use it. But define it for me. What is responsibility? I hear something. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to give you the answer. Responsibility is that burden, that burden or obligation that you feel to do something. So someone's burden or obligation, my responsibility is to make sure that my family is safe and they have food to eat, clothes on their back, and shelter, right? It's my burden and my obligation. You guys, um, if you haven't had a job yet, your responsibility may be to do chores around the house, to take out the trash, to wash the dishes, to mow the lawn, right? Um, and sometimes your parents uh, gives you a great compensation and gives you some money or for that, right? Um, so when you get a job, you have a responsibility. You have a burden, an obligation to give your best and do your best, okay? Um, another word, social skills. We've gone over social skills. So what are social skills? What are social skills? So social skills, and I, and I like to define this using our just our everyday words, is, is how we communicate, right? Using our words and actions. Because it's not just what we say, it's how we say it. What we do, how we look, how we um, stand. It's our that nonverbal communication. So it's our actions. Sometimes speak louder than words. And that is social skills, right? 
All right, let's see the next one, authority. What is authority? What? Okay, so authority is a person who has power over um, others, right? Um, it's a person that usually is the leader. So authority is someone who has power over others. So for instance, parents have authority over their children, right? Um, let's see another one. Uh, your, the teachers have authority over the students, right? To maintain everything and to, uh, to teach and, and to maintain um, the class. The principal of the school has authority over the teachers and the students. You see how it goes? Let's see here. Um, the President of the United States has authority over our nation. So that's control and power over. All right? So it's very important. Uh, flexible. So what is flexible? And we've discussed that. What? So flexible is the ability to change and adapt. You have to be flexible. Right? Let's go over another word. Consequences. Sometimes when I say that, automatically everybody thinks of something negative, right? Something wrong or something bad. But consequences are the result of what you do, whether good or bad. If you do things good, like in school, you get A's and B's. If you do, don't do your work, you didn't study and you start getting or didn't turn them in. <laughs> you'll get D's and F sometimes, right? So consequences. It's the result or what happens when you do something good or bad. Compensation. What's compensation? What? I, I see somebody there. <laughs> I'm pretending I miss you guys. I'm pretending you guys are in front of me and I'm teaching the class. I'm trying to make it fun. Anyhow, compensation is a reward. It's a reward that you get for doing something. So the compensation for your hard work and, um, and working and doing what you're supposed to do at your job, you get a, you guessed it, a paycheck. And sometimes jobs give compensations like bonuses, um, for that extra, for the doing that extra, um, or just verbal, like, wow, I'm so proud of you, or, or just that verbal. Sometimes that's a compensation. You like to hear that uh, those uh, in authority over you, they're proud of you. They're proud of what you're doing. And even them saying, wow, I'm impressed. Great job. Keep up the great work. That in itself makes others feel really good and that's compensation I know that I love to hear that and sometimes we don't hear that enough and sometimes maybe we don't say it enough but boy words like that to encourage can sure be a compensation because they make me feel amazing and I want to um, do better and be better so sometimes it's not just money or a paycheck it could also be um, verbal encouragements right what else um, steward and then we have finances so we know finances has to do with what Money. Steward is a person that manages. A person that manages. So in this uh, scenario, person that manages finances is a person that manages money. Okay, so question number one. Again, I'm going to keep this simple because we're going to work on this lesson is what benefits does a student obtain from getting a job? What benefits? And I'm going to write this paragraph that I read in the assignment and ask you a few questions from there before we continue on with the rest of the unit. But what benefits does a student obtain from getting a job? So we learned that they learn responsibility. They increase their social skills. They learn to respect authority. That's three. They learn how to be flexible. Boy, there's a lot of, lot of, uh, lot of interesting um, uh, benefits here. They learn that they get, um, they learn that there's consequences to things, whether good or bad. And that's important because if you don't do what you're supposed to do at job, you can get what? Fired. Yeah. But if you do really well, you can get a raise, right? And um, we, uh, benefits of getting a job, you get a compensation, you get a paycheck. And with that, you can save for college, you can save to buy that car that you want to buy 
or um, you can help out with the finance, uh, the finances uh, and the expenses of your family, especially during these difficult times. Um, and you learn how to be a good steward of your finances. It means you learn how to manage your money wisely. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at there. I'm going to send out this assignment for you guys and I can't wait for us to continue um, this whole unit because at the end of the unit yes we're gonna go in an unofficial job interview and I'm gonna see how you guys are doing all right so um, look out for your assignment on your speech language Google classroom and have a great day bye you guys do your assignments complete it I'm watching <laughs> bye